Something Followed Me Home From Work Last Week by Frenetic Cenotaph I worked the night shift at Pine Falls Mall doing security. Pine Falls is a funny town to have a mall, considering it's mostly woods. But in the mid-80s, the town saw a large population boom and the entire downtown was built up as this modern urban centre. Today it's mostly a bunch of offices and other industrial businesses, but the mall is still popular as the only one in town. The mall itself is tucked into the side of the mountains, making it a divisive structure in the community. Some say it's an eyesore that ruins the natural landscape but I always thought the architecture complemented the scenery well and made for a beautiful shopping centre. But I digress. The point is, this mall was essentially in the woods. I was night watch and my job was to do occasional rounds and watch the cameras. The only other people there were usually the day security people for about an hour after I arrived, my boss for a bit longer, and the custodians until about 2am. From 2 to 6, the entire property was quiet. My usual duties included doing hourly rounds and watching the cameras in between. Every other hour, I would begin my rounds where I'd go to several checkpoints and sign a clipboard. There were six in total on all different areas of the property, and signing them all took me about an hour. 45 minutes if I was quick about it. I would arrive back at my post and wait another hour to do it again. Exciting, right? That night was like any other. Around 1.30am, my radio rang out with a familiar voice. It was my boss. Hey, can you come outside for a second? This shocked me, because I thought he had gone home over an hour ago. It was also strange because he didn't specify why or which door, just to come outside. Hey chief, what can I do for you? Which door are you at? I can buzz you in if you need. I replied to no answer. I continued checking the cameras when I saw some lights flicker. The camera was on the west side, which is a back entrance of the mall. The door led out to the employee lot. Can you come outside for a second? The voice on the radio echoed again. It sounded strange, but I couldn't put my finger on what was so odd about the voice. I was about to unlock the door remotely when the voice came again. Can you come outside? It was the same cadence and timbre every time he said it. I watched the camera closely and I saw the lights change again, and I noticed they weren't flickering, but instead it was something moving out there. These lights were 8 to 10 feet up, and there isn't much that could block them. Come outside. My running theory was that someone was trying to get in by faking his voice. I considered putting a call in to the police, but I decided to check out the door for myself first. The door was a short turn, and all the way down the hall. I marched to the edge of the door. Looking out into the dark, I saw a movement at the edge of the lot. A figure meandering around lazily, facing away from me. He didn't look like a burglar, especially not the kind that would go as far to copy voices on our radios. I decided the safe thing to do would be to call it in and I dialed the police on my phone. I called the non-emergency line. Pine Falls Police Department, how can I help you? The voice answered. Hi, I'm over at the mall and we've got a suspicious person on the premises. He hasn't really done anything yet, but just to be safe. I was cut off. Hello? The voice questioned. Yes, I'm I'm here at the... Again, the voice interrupted me. Is anyone there? I hung up. Frustrated and growing fearful, I tried the emergency line. The second I heard the phone pick up, I spouted off. I'm at the mall and we've got a suspicious person. I... I became aware of the blaring silence at the end of the line, and I hung up again. When I looked up, I just about jumped out of my skin. My boss was against the glass. He had one hand awkwardly pressed against the window, and his face was nearly pressed into the glass. His face was emotionless and flat, but his eyes, 
Oh God, his eyes. They were dark and crooked. As I stared in disbelief, I couldn't exactly figure out what was wrong with them. They looked like apes' eyes, having a sort of animalistic primal stare. I can still see them in my mind as I type this up. Before I could move out of my paralysis, he spoke. Unlock the door. Please unlock the door. His voice was strange, as if he were trying to speak through a yawn, or if he couldn't control his jaw or his lips right. Let me in. I need to come inside. His hand gently slapped against the glass, leaving a wet, muddy print. I retreated to my office and locked myself inside. I tried the landline phone, but it was also down. I was completely cut off with three hours until daylight. I don't know if it was me coming off the adrenaline or just the overall stress, but I fell asleep. What had brought me back was the smell of wet earth. After slowly waking up to the strange smell, I jumped up, recalling the events. I checked the cameras to find the door wide open, the first rays of sunlight shining in. My shift was over and I decided to make a run for it, seeing as both phones weren't working. I left a basic version of this note as well as the security footage timestamps so my boss can see for himself what happened. Walking out of my room I saw the hallway, muddy handprints and footprints all over the walls and even the ceiling. The smell was so overpowering, like mud and rain. I basically sprinted to my car and sped home. So that's my crazy story. Update. After last night's post, I got up this morning to a voicemail from my boss claiming the security footage shows nothing but me opening the door after I fell asleep at my post. He's absolutely furious. I think I'm going to call and apologize for sleepwalking. Maybe I'll blame it on a new medication I'm on. I'll post more if anything else happens. Update. Well, I think I can keep my job, but I'm on thin ice. I worked last night and my boss stayed for my entire shift, making sure I did my job. I was scared all night. I kept thinking I saw something out of the corner of my eye, but nothing else. Update. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I got up this morning and I went to my car, only to find the trunk was wide open and that black earth was everywhere. The thing was in my car. I drove home with it. Who knows where it could be? I searched my entire house like 10 times, but there's no sign of it. I'll eat it if I see it again. Update. I haven't slept for two days. It's raining hard tonight. I'm wide awake, shaking as that smell creeps into my house. I can hear shuffling out in the darkness, stones moving around in the garden. It's talking and I'm, I'm trying so hard not to make a sound. The thing I've noticed about how it talks is this. Humans have a natural ability to pace a sentence. We know when to stop to breathe or naturally pause. This creature can't copy that. It stops in between words or talks during a breath. It's very unnatural. No one talks like this thing. I hear it at the door and I feel myself falling asleep. I'm going to post this as is and hopefully do another update tomorrow morning. I just want to thank Frenetic Cenotaph for allowing me to narrate this story. If you liked what you heard here, please head over to their Reddit page and check out their other works. I'll leave a link for that in the description below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And as always, stay tuned for one more nightmare.